I 100% believe him, what he's saying in terms of the accusation. Um, other players around it heard it. So I will stand toe to toe with Glen Kamara and I will deal with this however Glen Kamara wants to deal with it. Um, I'm proud of all my players tonight, showing solidarity, and from the top of this club to the bottom, um, we stand with the players. It's over to your way for now, this situation. Um, and I just hope it doesn't get brushed under the carpet. I think devastated is an understatement. Um, this is a cool, calm kid. Um, it, it, it's not, and it's not him to to accuse someone of anything. It's not him. Um, I trust Glenn. I 100% believe. 100% with my life. All I can confirm is that my player um, tells me he was racially abused. I tried to call Glenn over during the game. Um, he, he didn't come over. I was going to ask him, did he want to leave the pitch? And I would have backed him, whatever his decision was. But the players um, stayed on the pitch. That was their decision. And... Um, the game obviously came to a conclusion. Hi guys, thank you so much for clicking on this video. We are talking on the topic of football and racism. As Rangers midfield Glenn Kamara has revealed the extent of the alleged racial abuse he received from a Slavia Prague player during the Thursday Europa League tie. Glenn has claimed that the Slavia defender Andre Kujela covered his mouth with his hand before racially abusing him in Rangers 2-0 defeat. In a statement released on Slavia's English language website earlier on Friday, centre-back Andre Kujela admitted he had used offensive language but denied using racist language. In a statement released through his lawyer, Kamara said, there is no place for racism or any form of bigotry in football since the summer many of us has taken to the knee in solidarity with those who have lost their lives to racial violence. Um, in a statement he states, if UEFA genuinely wants to show racism the red card, then it's time to stop the tokenism and take a zero tolerance approach as a player i do not expect myself nor any other to have to tolerate racial hatred on or off the pitch in 2021. The vile racist abuse of Andre Kudela took place on the international stage and any failure to act by the UEFA will be viewed as a green light for racism. During yesterday's match with Slavia Prague, Kudela was arguing with a Rangers player. After he tried to intervene, he was told to shut up and then said, one second my friend, he came over to him, covering his mouth, leaning into his ear and he uttered the words, you're an Finn monkey you know you are he says i was shocked and horrified to hear such racist abuse from a professional football player kudela's claim he simply swore at me and said you're a guy is a complete utter lie which does not stand up to any form of scrutiny kudela's action was deliberately and premeditated but he was loud enough for my teammate to hear what was said the good thing about this is that others obviously had come forward and stated that they heard him say this so it's not like he just made it up and wanted to throw the race card as people like to say. I think it's important that more football managers back up their players the way Steven um, Gerrard did. He spoke so eloquently. To me that's what standing in solidarity is. It's not just about taking the knee because you are on the pitch because that's what you are taught to do. Obviously you can choose to or not to do so but it's about actually standing up and stating it and letting us know which side you are truly on and I think he did that um, He did that really well. Some people feel like they need to start issuing life bans from the sport for racism and actually put people's careers on the line because how else are people going to learn, you know, what you get a slap in the back of your hand and it's like, oh, we don't release a statement, we don't condone racism, but what exactly did you do? What action did you actually take to show how seriously you take this? Let me know what you what your thoughts are in the comment section. Thank you so much for tuning in. If you are new, feel free to subscribe and I'll speak to you guys in my next video.